Hey filmmaking friends, this is the Exploring Filmmaker and today we're going to go over how to compile all the images from a time-lapse sequence into a finished time-lapse movie. In our last tutorial we went over night time lapses. You can take what you learned from this tutorial and apply it to night time lapses or just regular time lapses in general. We're just taking a sequence of images, we're batch processing them, and we're going to make them look really good and bring those into After Effects and create a finished time lapse. Now there's two programs we're going to work with. The first one is Adobe Lightroom. That's what I'm in right now. So the first step is going to be to import all the images, the raw images, off of your SD or CF card into Adobe Lightroom. You can do that by going to File and then go right over here to Import Photos and Video. You can see this whole sequence that I've shot right here and there's nothing magical about that yet. What I like to do is go about midway through the sequence so we can get right in the middle so if something gets brighter or darker you know we're kind of right in the middle and then we can work from there. So I'm just going to come right here to image 52 and I'm going to go up here and go to my develop settings. You can see we got some stars and the mountains uh, but it doesn't look anywhere close to that that finished time lapse. So what we have to do is, is make some modifications to this raw file. I purposely shot this at 2000 ISO knowing I was going to do this so we could bring this up in post and not go overboard and uh, get some digital artifacts with going with a higher ISO. So I'm going to just come over here and it pops up this little editor window and the first thing I'm going to do is look at the exposure. I'm going to turn that up and already you can see you know a little bit goes a long way. I mean you can make it look almost like daytime right there. But we want to really make those stars and the colors pop so we're just going to mess with our exposure here and get it about right there is looking looking pretty nice. Then we're gonna just make some modifications with the contrast. We want to make sure we can definitely see it's nighttime. And let's take a look at shadows. A lot of times what I've realized is there's nothing wrong with just getting in here and playing around with these sliders and getting the best look possible with sliding these around. So let's go to the next step which is going to be to denoise this image a little bit. We're going to go down, if we scroll it'll bring you down here to a, a detail category and we are going to go to noise reduction and we're going to take that luminance noise reduction and we're just going to slide it up a little bit. If you look at this little image it's kind of like a really zoomed in little detail right there you can see what's happening let's take it back to nothing you see there's a lot of I don't know if you guys can see that as well on your screen but there's a lot of noise we take that new luminance slider and we keep going over we get rid of quite a bit of that if you're using a wide lens it's getting some vignetting another thing that you can do down here is enable profile corrections and that'll kind of flatten out that vignetting so that's always a nice thing to do if you're not wanting what you got there uh, just go down to that next section under Lens Corrections and click on Enable Profile Corrections. Okay, so we have an image that we like. One image out of a ton of images. If we go to the one to the left, uh, it doesn't look good anymore at all. And the one to the right, well, we have to copy our develop settings and paste those onto all the other images. So the easiest way to do that is just to control click or right click and we are going to go to develop settings and copy settings and everything checkmarked is what you want there's really not anything you're going to need to add or, or take away from this so normally you can just hit copy then what you're going to do is you're going to start to the left of the image you just processed and highlight that and go all the way to the front hit shift and click so we've highlighted all the images before that middle image that we processed. And we're going to right click or control click. And we're going to go to develop settings. And we're going to paste those settings. So we've just pasted it on all those images. And it's starting to apply and, and look good across the board. We know we're consistent. So let's scrub back here to that first image we processed and go to the right of it. 
and do the same thing with all the images following that middle imagery process. So we're going to scroll to the end, hit shift, and click, and develop settings, and paste. Alright, so now all the images on our timeline have those develop settings set. So we're going to go up to File, and we're going to go to Export, and we're going to export these images to a folder, and we're just going to keep the original image name and hit Export. Alright, now that we've processed all those files out to a JPEG, we can see those all in our folder, and we are going to go ahead and bring those into Adobe After Effects. So right here in After Effects, you can see that there's a project box. If you're not seeing that, you can come up to Workspace and just change it to Standard. So that project box is where you're going to drag all of these. So I'm just going to hit Shift-A or Command-A on a Mac, and we're going to drag all those right into that box, all 405 files. It's going to take a second, importing all those. And while they're all still selected, control click or right click on that and choose new comp from selection. We're going to make sure that it's in a single composition. We're going to make sure that we put that in a single composition and make sure that your duration is set to one second. Make sure that you have this box check mark, sequence layers. That's going to put them down in a large sequence so we don't have to do anything once they're imported. And hit OK. All right, and there we go. As you can see, all those images are now in this timeline. We got about 13 seconds, and they're all sequenced out one by one, lined up back to back, all the way down through this. You don't want just a humongous square image. You're going to want something you can play on YouTube or sell on a stock site. So I'm going to come over here to composition settings, and I'm going to change this. Right now it's at 5,760 pixels by 3,840. I'm going to change it to broadcast standard 4K, which is 3840 by 2160. So now you can see that this frame size is just a little bit too small. We got a lot outside of here, and we might want to see what's there. I know there's some mountains around here, and we want to see some more stars. So we're going to go over here, and as long as these are all selected still, we can grab any one of these where it says 100, 100, um, and we're just going to drag, the one, we're going to click and drag to the left, which is going to make this smaller, it's going to scale it down. And we're going to go right there, probably about 68%, we, we're not cutting off the edges or anything. We're going to go up to Composition and Add to Render Queue. Let's go down to Output Module, right now it says Lossless, we're going to click on that, go over here to format options. We're making a QuickTime file, but I'm going to go ahead and change that to ProRes 422 just because it's a good file to archive to. And hit OK. And once that's all good to go, we hit OK. Give it a name. It's outputting to, it's asking you to give the file a name, and also where you want to save this on your computer. I'm going to save it right here to my stock drive, and I'm going to call it Night time lapse. So hit save and once you're ready to go you hit render and after five or ten minutes you will have yourself an epic time lapse. Well filmmaking friends I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to process clips into a time lapse. If you like it tell your homies about it. This is the Exploring Filmmaker. I hope to see you again real soon.